it's a really difficult I mean it really really difficult night the I mean, terrible actually um just the when the breeze went forward it just for I don't know about three hours it was just coming from every direction every strength just really hard actually um and uh Jeremy came up he he came up level with me about the same time and um called me on the VHF and he was having a hard time as well so yeah I didn't didn't get just get any sleep for the first part of the night so but nice to talk to Jeremy it's fabulous really surreal I was like Oh my God, Jeremy B is calling me on the radio. <laughs> I'm living somebody else's life at the moment. Just call me up for a chat. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really cool to talk to. Him. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Not your average Sunday morning caller. No, no, no. It is. It is. You just kind of you. You know, you're living here now in this moment this is my life you know and you kind of zoom out and you look at it and you think wow such a strange that can't be me yeah really cool what, what's also really nice is that Callie and Alan are just a mile apart as well and chatting on the way in it's it's, uh, it's so uh, so nice to have them close together Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's um, it, it, it's it's good for many reasons. It's sort of you know it, it, it's nice to have someone else there. I think um, especially for Alan with his keel and stuff. It, um, you know, it's it's just and when I was next to Alan, we were we were saying how you know it just it makes you feel just a little bit safer, I guess. You know, when there's someone like that. But I can see, at the same time, I can see that actually it could almost be a, a trap, though, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Anyway, what's, uh, so what's the, the weather going to be like for your approach into Cape Horn over the next 24 hours? Oh, well, um, I mean, it, it literally, the, the forecast is changing every sort of six hours or so. Um, there's a there's we've got about a 24 hour slog, uh, sort of more upwind reachy on starboard, and then the breeze is going behind us. Um, at the moment, my routing is taking me in really close to the wall, which is cool. So, um, should be downwind past the horn, um, in some sort of reasonably big breeze. Um, and then it's looking a bit complicated on the other side. Uh, but um, yeah, just sort of 24 hours of, of fairly hard slog on starboard to, to start off with. Um, and actually, it looks looks to feel like the breeze has stabilised, which is great because it was far from stable yesterday. Yesterday was a hard work day. I'd imagine it feels a little bit about a bit like Christmas coming. You can't, you just can't wait. Yeah, it's, and I've sort of, I've, I've talked, I've talked to myself about um, Cape Horn quite a bit because it is, you know, you're just for ten, well, longer than, longer than ten days now. I think it must be twelve days. You know, I've been looking at it, going, "Yay, I'm going to Cape Horn." And it sort of seems to be getting further away again. Um, and, and yeah, and it's kind of just this, this point that we're all desperately trying to get to. But actually, nothing changes on the other side. It's not, you don't get there and find the dolphins and rainbows. And, um, you know, so I, I'm fully aware that there's still, like, you know, potentially a week's quite hard slog on the other side um but still it's, it's cape horn it's it, it, yeah it, i mean it is significant it is a it is a definite um 
point to to go to and i've got um i've got one party popper left so it's my cape ball and party popper so yeah get wet now Hey, listen, but uh, but all good with you and with the boat generally. Yes, yes, I think so. I mean, I've had, um, I've got still spending quite a bit of time in the back of the boat with the steering. So yesterday I had to um, make a set of um, carbon shims and, and shim the quadrant on my other rudder because um, that was getting a bit loose which I think is just kind of like a, um, it's probably a result of me being on that rudder for so long when I did the change and, you know, just maybe things have, things have moved or changed a bit. So um, I'm in and out of that back, back section a lot, just making sure everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think, Medallia is in good shape, um, and I'm in good shape, and um, yeah, we carry on the good fight. Indeed, Pip. Now listen, I've got somebody called Joff Brown on the live show today. He's looking for a job reference after this one, so what have you got to say about Joff? <laughs> Well, I mean, all the uh, all all the success that I've got is, you know, the job is a huge part of that. Um, it, I mean, it, it, I think it's. I don't think that people understand exactly how important, you know, the boat preparation is, and all of that, all of that thought that goes into the resilience, all of that knowledge, you know, Joff got all other. Bondé, um, Bondé's behind him, and he's brought all of that knowledge to my campaign. And you know, every time I hit a problem, then um, you know it's Joff that I'm talking to, and, the, and and when I sort it out, it's because you know he's he's put the tools, the materials, the spares on the boat um, to enable me to do it. So, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he's a bit of a legend. We need to big, big him up big time. Indeed, indeed. I mean, that experience of uh, 20 years on the Bondi Globe, it's, uh, it counts for everything, doesn't it? I, it, it really does. And, and um, it's, you know, one of the things that, that Joff's really great at is... Um, just, you know, if I do hit a problem and I say, I'm worried about this, um, or I send him a picture of something, or I quite often send him like a recording of a sound, um, <laughs> and I'll say, I'm worried about this, you know, is it a problem? And if Joe comes back and says, yes, we need to deal with it, or no, it's not a problem, then I've got complete faith in his answer, um, because of that experience and because he's got this 100% record of all of his boats making it round. Um, and it's, you know, it's really fantastic to have that reassurance um, in, you know, in the background to answer all of my questions. And we've got, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a bit of a, so we pretty much only communicate by, uh, by WhatsApp. You know, I sent him pictures and videos and, and messages and, um, and since he, I mean, he's, he's been working on my campaign, uh, not that long, but since, since he's worked on my campaign, whenever I go sailing, you know, I, we only ever, uh, text each other. Um, however, if I ring him, it's bad. And so, <laughs> so this is, this is just a big thing where... You know, if he ever gets a phone call from me, he, yeah, he knows it's a bad thing. So, so yeah, we try not try not to ring him. Indeed, I hope that's the case. I rang him about the rudder. Now, listen, our, our live uh, our live tomorrow is uh, twelve thirty. If you could try and be at Cape Horn by then, that'd be fantastic.
<laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> no, you just uh, you take it steady, and uh, we'll speak uh, after Cape Horn or thereabouts. All the best. Thanks, Pip. Thanks, Andy. Bye. Bye-bye.